Oh, now it's going. Oh, gosh. You missed the last. Okay, we will regroup and start all over. No, well, we're not going to start all over, but, you know, you know. All right. When you get to the end with your wire, I put my wire underneath that last bead, pull it real tight, snip it, snip the excess off, and then with my pliers, I squish it down into the material so um, that you don't get stuck, okay? Um, there you have your little bracelet, and you could put a jump ring here, you know, and put a little chain and a jump ring there on this side. Um, put a little chain so in case you're afraid that it might um, come loose and come off your hand. Or if you wanted to wear it up on your arm, you put that, you know, put this on the inner part of your arm. So you could have that, like, excuse my mammoth arms. Uh, you could have something like this and a charm or something hanging off of it. So, well, that is my, <laughs> that was my first, um, uh, that was my first time trying to teach anybody to do anything. Oh, sorry. Uh, Tom and I were Boy Scout leaders, and I had, um, I was teaching the little kids how to make pop, popsicle puppets and stuff. Oh my God, that was a, that was a nightmare. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you had to be in uniform, okay? And I had just given birth to my uh, son, Tim. And I hadn't got down yet. Well, let's face it, I never went back to my original weight after each child. So I just kept gaining and gaining. Um, anyway, I had you had to wear the uh, yellow button-down uh, Cub Scout shirt. I don't know why no one told me, but my blouse, one of the buttons was not uh, buttoned all day long. No one even told me. <laughs> no one told me about it. <laughs> okay. Anywho, well, at least I didn't have a button undone this time. That would have been scary. Um, anyway, I'm trying, guys. Um, tell me what you think, but be nice. <laughs> I don't mind constructive criticism, but, you know, don't, don't be mean to me. Um, so I will talk to you later. Woo-hoo! Take the long way home.